Welcome, welcome to Target Lock TV. My name is Simon, and with me today, I have Aaron. Welcome, Aaron. Hello, thank you very much. It's good to be here. It's always nice to have you on. Let's oh, thank you very much. Let's see, what have we got today? We've got Philip from Serbia versus uh, Thorbjorn from uh, Denmark. This is a, a grudge match, the players told me before the game since uh, Denmark beat Serbia in the Ecstasy earlier this year. It is and a we've got two game. very two very interesting lists to, to watch today, too. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, I, I just noticed I got the lists on the wrong side, but there we go. Uh, so, yes, would you like to help me reading out uh, Torbjörn's list, maybe? Yeah, of course. Uh, Torbjörn has a uh, five-ship scum list. Uh, he, uh, in the, in the pre-stream chat, we were saying, we were talking, and he was saying that he's actually been flying this list since 1.0, at least a, a variation of it. So he has two M38 interceptors, uh, both with marksmanship, so they can turn a, a hit into a crit when they're performing an attack in their bullseye arc. Uh, one of them has thread tracers, so he can get locks from that for all of his other ships. And the other one has a tractor beam. Uh, then he has two Black Sun Ace Kiraxes with crack shot. So uh, again, if he's performing a, an attack in his bullseye arc, he can spend his uh, crack shot charge to cancel a evade result. So those are nasty. Mm. And then finally, he's got a cartel executioner, Kimo Gila, which also has crack shot. And on top of that, the, uh, the Kimo Gila's have that dead to rights ability. So if the if the uh, Kimo shoots a, a target in its bullseye arc, you can't use green tokens to modify your defense. So this thing is nasty uh, <laughs> if it gets you in the bullseye arc. Um, and he's rolling that with uh, Contra and Cybermetanetics, so he can do a uh, uh, burn that in order to get um, to perform red actions and red maneuvers while stressed, which is probably pretty nice for that the restrictive dial. Uh, but then the other cool thing he's got in there is R four B eleven. This is a an used to, it was an old one point upgrade card as well, uh, but in its two point oh it a great uh, iteration. You can remove one orange or red token from the defender to re-roll defense dice. Mm. So if you combine that with crack shot and the chemo's ability, this thing is nasty. Indeed. And on the other side, we've got Torbjörn's list. He's got the uh, Colonel Jandan in the uh, Lambda, which uh, allows players do oh the, the <laughs> let's read from the <laughs> card <laughs> uh, at the start of the activation phase you may spend one charge if you do what while free friendly ships acquire locks this round they must acquire locks beyond range three instead of range zero to three and uh, so we got some uh, early control there and nice target locks with the um, well, on his agenda, he's got passive sensors. He's got Darth Vader crew, hull upgrade. Uh, he's got Muff Jerrod, <laughs> which says uh, during the system phase you may spend two charges. If you do choose the one bag or one one straight template, then each friendly ship may perform a red boost action using that template. It's also running the ST three two one. Uh, which says after you perform a uh, um, coordinate action, you may choose an enemy ship of range 0 to 3 of that ship you coordinated. If you do, acquire lock on that enemy ship, ignoring range restrictions. Loads of target locks here today. <coughs> and we continue with target locks. Uh, here we got c Fell with targeting computer, crack shot and stealth device. And we also got Sienna Re uh, with Disciplined and Targeting Computer. Uh, Sienna Re is the new Initiative 6 TIE Interceptor. It says after you perform an attack, if the defender was destroyed, gain one stress token. 
after a friendly ship at range 33 is destroyed, remove one stress token. Yeah, and I really love his uh, his combination of Sienna with Disciplined. Mm. Um, so with that pilot talent, uh, if, an, if a friendly ship is destroyed, uh, you can get a free target lock or barrel roll. Um, so, so coupled with her ability, that means that if a friendly ship uh, goes down and she's stressed, she can remove that stress and then get a target lock or a barrel roll. Yeah. So that's a... Uh, both of these lists have some very, very cool uh, interactions, and one of the things I love about them is that they actually, uh, they've got some cards that you don't see so often uh, on there. Like, I think this is the first time I've seen Moff Gergerod being played, or, uh, or R4 or B11. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't often see them on the tournament tables, so that's, uh, that's always fun to see. Do you think that is a... Yeah, I, I would say that is a direct uh, consequence of the uh, deficit scoring uh, ruling. I mean, I I think that uh, um, on the on the imperial side, I I don't think this is a, a list that you would necessarily bring to a really competitive event. Um, just it's it's going to be really really squishy if any of those if any of those interceptors blank out then that's that's a lot of your points and a lot of your offensive capability gone um so i, I think maybe that's why you don't see jerderot all that often um because yeah it's just not a list that you see streamed all that often um i'm not sure why you don't see r4 b11 because his, uh, his ability I, I i always really liked his ability but um, I don't know. You don't you don't see a lot of Kimogilas on the field, and then uh, if you've got scum Y wings or um, or a, uh, a punishing one, it's you usually have a different droid that you want to put on them. So yeah, I think uh, I think you you might see more R four B eleven with the deficit scoring, but I mean Jerjerod is seven points, so you kind of have to be. You, should, you just don't squeeze it in. Yeah, exactly. You definitely gotta make sure you want that. This is interesting. Suntir has taken a lot, has turned away and taken a lock. Both of the, both of the the interceptors have taken a lock on the Kimogila. And linking that to oh. a barrel. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm glad to see him turn away on this first turn because if he if he turned into that joust, I don't think it would have gone his way. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if he can get uh if he can get everybody properly set up for the first engagement because the uh, the space cow is pretty slow, but you know I think uh, it might be it might be tricky to get Suntir and Sienna lined up for the shots that he wants them to take before the before the shuttle starts taking damage. Yeah. Yeah, we got a uh, a few ships here today that sort of is depending on their uh, uh, boots hierarchy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, most of most of Torbjorn's else has something. Actually, I think yeah, because they all have either crack shot or marksmanship, so they all uh, they all would benefit from getting um, bullseye arcs. Oh, uh, one one thing I wasn't sure about is putting marksmanship on the on the M3As because well, the tractor beam and the thread tracers those are support um, support abilities where the a crit wouldn't really help them all that much. So it's only it's only one point a piece, and maybe he just had that. Maybe that was just some deficit scoring right there. But yep. I don't know. I feel like we would have seen a. Uh, I mean. I don't know what exactly else you'd do with that, those two points, but uh, I, I'd love to hear his uh, reasoning behind that. Yeah, let's uh, try to keep that in our minds when we uh, get back to the players again after the game. We got the beautiful uh, game mat here today, uh, featuring uh, <laughs> some uh, some. Uh, uh, information about the Lima Open, which is on this weekend. 
Are you playing? I am not. Um, this is this is actually the first that I've learned of the Lima Open. Oh yeah. I'm uh, I'm not as plugged in as I should be. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Uh, but maybe we should plug something else. We had uh, uh, Alex Watkins is doing a charity uh, raffle, and I think the tickets uh, are on sale from tomorrow. And there's some really nice prices uh, being. Is raffled. that part of the? Is that part of the Lima Open, or is that? Uh, no, th that's something else. Uh, it's for uh, a, a charity for um, kids with uh, kidney problems, I think. Oh, that's a good cause. Yeah. Just curious because uh, it also there's a <clears throat> there's this uh, thing here for the Lima Open about the uh, supporting this other charity here. Yes. You can get a, a Mandalorian and child cards as well, mm, even before they uh, even before they come out. I think you can. I think you still can uh, sign up for the Lima Open as well. Yeah. If you got spare time this weekend, do it. Yeah, Torbjorn's uh, approach is a little bit slower in round two. I thought he might uh, try to push in quickly, but yeah, but slow we rolling see, it a little bit. Yendon is uh, is just facing down the the enemy here. Yeah, I mean, he only did a one a one bank. I, I was wondering if he would do a, a hard stop, but I guess he wanted to move Jendon out of the way to let the the interceptors get behind. <laughs> We're heading into turn three. Yeah, we will. For uh, for the for the folks watching, um, we are playing based on time, but we're keeping a, a tracker of the turns just to see how uh, how the game would fit into a 12-turn limit, if that's what ends up happening. Indeed, I will also uh, try to update the turns on on the display here, on screen. Yeah, Torbjorn is keeping his uh his kicks right behind the uh, the Kiraxes. It's uh, I wonder if that's something that he always plays with, or if that's uh something special against this list. Yeah. I guess they don't really need to worry about range three so much. Well, the actually the tractor beam uh the tractor beam is a is a cannon, so. Uh, those those interceptors would get an extra evade die if they're at range three. And uh, yeah, the tractor beam is on the yellow, the yellow uh, M3A. Yeah. So that's the one that's furthest in the back. Yeah, Suntir's got four dice on defense by default. Mm -hmm. If he's at range three, he gets five. If he's behind a rock, he gets six. So, if you can hit him with that tractor beam and throw him on a rock, then that would be that would be just perfect. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> I I had so many games where I just went for for all in on those kind of uh, things and failed miserably. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, F Philip Philip's list is is has a lot of uh, damage potential. It has a, a lot of you know, reposition ability between Jurjarod and the and the uh, native chassis ability of the of the interceptor, but only three health on those ships. Like that's one one bad blank out and poof, it's gone. <laughs> um, so that's a. Uh, yeah, it, it, when you're flying interceptors, you have to be you have to be smart, but you also have to be bold. Yeah. 
And Torbjorn is still uh, he's still holding back a little bit. Yep. Waiting for the right moment to engage. Uh, yep, and there's a, there's the zero stop for the mm -hmm. the shuttle. I wonder if we'll see a one hard out of Sienna. Split up the interceptors and have her kind of closer to the uh, the shuttle. Yeah, Sutra is flanking. We got a two bank. He's not taking stress with either of them this turn either, so I wonder if he's going to plan to Jirgerod next turn. Yeah. Jirgerod. Am I saying that right? No, I don't know. Jir, Jir, Jirgerod. 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 Sounds very South Parky. <laughs> Jirgerod. <laughs> You took your ginger <laughs> Yeah, though it's a. I've been, I've been playing 2.0 for for you know since it came out over three years now, and I still forget every time that the that the lambdas have that rear arc now. Just yeah. uh. And and that that couples super well with Vader because Vader's crew card just says in your firing arc. Yep. So, it is so you can uh, one hundred and eighty degree split up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he can he can be a threat even when he's spending four turns to turn around. I wonder how how much bigger the range three arc is on a large base ship than a small ship. That's that's a good question. I mean, it's it is bigger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I wouldn't be surprised if it's close to the same size of, as range one and two put together. Mm -hmm. Not, I'm not great at doing math geometry in my head. Nope. <laughs> but, I'm just waiting yeah, for someone pretty... to do it for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a very even vote going on in the stream chat. Oh, I, uh, I I closed it already because I I didn't want to as a as a commenter I felt like I shouldn't vote to to skew it one way or the other. Yeah, that's honorable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to. I mean, I think it was kind of the natural choice, but um, I'm glad to see that uh, Philip tar used both of his long range target locks to to target the, or all three of them, to target the, the cartel executioner. I feel like that's it's definitely going to be his, his priority target once they once they start engaging. He's got the lowest agility, it has the most health, but it's got the lowest agility and the most points and the nastiest combos. So, oh, I think, uh, I think, Tor I think Torbjorn's probably going to Hold him, uh, hold hold that, that ship kind of back to force uh, Tor uh, Philip to decide if he wants to switch his target locks or not. Yeah. The shuttle has to move this turn, and uh, I think those those pair of both pairs of scum ships are going to be coming around the rock so i think we're definitely going to start seeing some some injuries created this turn time for me to also update the turn counter here 
Right. We got Torbjorn is has won the initiative. Yep, here. Torb So he's turning the turning everyone in. Not not as fast. I think he still wants to keep still wants to keep the uh, the shuttle at range three. I guess. Yeah, but there will be blood. Oh yes. Just out of curiosity, did you see if the players rolled their their uh, road dice in the dice tray or on the table? I just noticed. They they've been rolling them on the table. Okay, then uh, it's understandable if I haven't seen them on on the screen. We got about an hour left. <laughs> Of the game but we will see some shots this turn Sienna turning in as well yeah, no, I don't I think soon is too far out to fire even with the boost yeah yes So it's going to be everyone pile on the space cow. <laughs> oh, interesting. I guess he did not use Vader. Because Vader's at the start of the engagement phase. He's saving that. I mean, he's going to be taking a lot of shots, so. Oh, and the chemo is just, just short of a, a shot. I wonder if that means that the uh, the tractor beam kick is going to be too far out as well. Uh, the shuttle should be firing first. No, Torbrian, Torbrian has a uh, initiative. That's right. Or he has first first player token. So the yellow M3 doesn't have range, so he can't tractor, can't tractor the uh, shuttle just yet. Right, so we see first here, yeah, there's uh, one grid, one focus, which is converted. Yep. And, and this is thread tracers. Yeah. So that we see means... a few target locks. Not sure why he spent the force to get the one evade. Nope. As, as long as one hit no. goes through. It was... Uh, uh, Reversed. Ah, okay. That's good. Like a nice friendly game. Where everyone has target locks now. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, not everybody. Still taking. Focus target lock shots from two cure axes, even at range. That could that could put a hurting on the uh, on the shuttle for sure. Indeed, got a range three shot here from uh, blue, and that's uh, focused into three hits, and that's two. It <laughs> disrespectfully, takes one uh, shield. 
range two shot. And that's another string of three hits. Ooh, the best he can. That's... Nope. So that's all shields down. Indeed. And that's it for. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that a little bit. Yeah, let's see. Is he going to go for the. I think he should probably go for the Kirax, right? Yes. I would do that. Although now it's a. Oh, he's going for the, the M3A. Oh, it is a shame that he didn't use Vader, though, because now uh, he didn't have to spend his force. He's got the focus token, so. He could, he, uh, he could have Vadered and maybe helped out a little bit. Yeah. Oof. So. Red. Yeah, two, two damage on the, on the red one. Some colors here as well. But yeah, taking, taking four damage and only giving two back on the first engagement is not it's not a good trade when he's got when when uh, Philip has so many fewer hit hit points. Nope. The pole just finished, <laughs> and the pole is completely split down the middle, 50-50. <laughs> so. Well, let's see how this goes. I think Soontia is probably going to have to turn turn in closer to the rock. I'm, I'm looking, I'm kind of looking down, and I think if he tries to go straight, even like with a 4 or a 5, he's going to end up clipping that rock. He's already stressed, so he can't do a Durgerod boost. Yeah, we got a... Gilrathi Soldier is reminding us that Vader only works in range 0 to 2. Which That's is true. very correct. Yeah. Although I think uh, one of the shots that he took was at range 2. Oh, you know what? It was from the green Kirox. The green Kirox is at range 2, but all the other ones are at range 3. So that's right. having some connectivity issues today. Don't really know what's going on there, but I'll try to sort it out. You're coming through loud and clear for me. Yeah. I do my best. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting to see uh, if one or both of the players decides to to push in super fast or if they both decide just to, to hang back and slow roll this turn. I feel like the the shuttle's gonna have to gonna have to move, you know, staying still, and prevent him from getting an action. He's definitely gonna want to focus this turn. Yeah. But they, have they done their road roll yet? All their dials are down. Depending on a, uh, this is this is a turn where road will really really make a difference, because if uh, if Torbjorn gets to move first, then he can set up a block 
for for the movement of the uh, of the shuttle. If he thinks that the shuttle is going to move, yeah. But if the shuttle stays still, and and he he goes for that block, then or or if he moves before, or if he moves uh, after the shuttle, then he's going to get blocked by the shuttle. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, I'm trying to manage the technical bits here. I've done yeah, some. I noticed that you're ping on that. The ping on TTS seems pretty high. Yeah. Sort of uh, going back and forth. I've done some uh, some handiwork with uh, the wireless system this week, so I hope this is something that I have caused myself <laughs> because then. I might be able to fix it. Alright, so Philip has first player. Yeah. You think he will go in with Jendon for a block? I I mean I think it's it's less gonna be going in for a block, but I think he's gonna have to move, like I said, so that he can at least take a focus because he's gonna Oh that's slow. <laughs> Yeah, because he's definitely he's got that target lock on the chemo. So if he can get a if he can get a you know a range one or two focused target lock shot on it, he can at least do some. Oh, there you go, reinforce, perfect. That's a that's a good action for for this turn. Uh, I feel like that green. Uh, that green Kirax might be able to get behind him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's just barely not in the full front. And if I'm re remembering reinforced correctly, if you're even a little bit not in the front, doesn't apply. Then you are flanking. Yep. Oh, and the second set turns away. All right. Chasing Gonna try to catch a. Uh... I mean, the the shuttle only has six hull, so with three range one shots. You know, it's eight eight dice plus uh, yeah, eleven eleven attack dice against one agility. Like the the math the math is on the shuttle dying this turn. So yeah, he's got seven uh, seven hull left. Well, that, that's right because he's got the hull upgrade on there too, mm. and and reinforce. Yeah, so yeah, I think between reinforce and the. Uh, and the hull upgrade, the, the shuttle had a pretty good chance of limping through this turn, especially now that those those other two ships turned away. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Sienna is uh, taking it slow as well. This is also an opportunity where you know that shots will go into Jendon first hand. 
Yeah, I mean, there's there's no like the only reason why uh, why you wouldn't shoot at the at the shuttle right now if you're Torbjorn would be if it's dead already. Yeah. Right. So soon to probably see falling into the trap. Yeah. Probably see barrel will fit. Do you think barrel roll out or or in? Uh, barrel out. I think that's the only one that would fit. Uh, out and forward. Oof, just barely. Yeah. Now he's stressed for next turn, so he won't be able to... I mean, he wouldn't be able to do a too hard turn without ending up on that rock. Nope. He's running. Yeah, Sienna going for the... Yeah, he's just got the target up there as well. And let's see, yeah. we've got a Vader. Yeah, Vader off that, that focus. I think if I'm Torbjorn, I would just take the damage. Yeah. He's he's thinking it over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, flipping that shit. Yeah. Shape. Yeah, I mean I don't think he's even unless unless he's taking triple crits from Sienna, I don't think he's gonna spend that focus on, on defense either. He wants to get that full mod four die shot oh Oof. well he's got the target lock he's got yeah. the target lock oh not much better nothing comes oh. for free yeah, sienna's pretty safe that she's not likely to get shot at this turn takes none spends the focus hey spend all right okay Yeah, and then Philip has first, so his uh, his shuttle will get to have its revenge before beforehand. Go for the kill on red, I guess. Mm. But he does have the target lock on the Kimogila, so. Strange one. Trying to trying to clear one ship off. Yeah. Before the before the double dies. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's respectable. Uh, takes one crit. I mean, he's only got two left, so it's not a direct hit. Oh, it's a fuel leak. So that's uh... a. <laughs> That's the best crit that Torbjorn could hope for. Uh, for that guy. The next damage, he's dead regardless. Yes. Let's see. Uh... He's not in the bullseye. So that's a. Uh... Good for Philip. I think. Best yeah, because uh, if you look, Best yeah, he can't crack. Yeah, he can't crack shot that, and um, and because uh, uh, dead to rights also applies to um, right. so he's forcing him to uh, forcing him to reroll. Yeah, with R four B eleven. Takes two then. Yep. He got in the bullseye. He could have pushed all three through, but. Yeah. 
All right, it's two out of six. Yeah, five to go. And two. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> five and five more, with two more ships to shoot. Oh, target lock. Okay, for all three. The reinforce is definitely gonna. We're going to apply to this attack. We rolls one and uh, converts to focuses the three crits. hits. All right, so yeah. that's uh, one more damage. Due to yeah, with one, <laughs> one evade, one reinforce, and that turns your, your perfect three hits into one damage. Yeah. Now four left. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a range one, but it is flanking. Yeah. No reinforce. A target lock, though. I think he was out of range for the thread tracers. No, he's got it. He did get one. Okay. Oh, that's a full string. So. All right. Let's see. Does the does the shuttle evade it or not? Oh. Lips. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It lives for uh, a short while at least. We got to see what that crit was. Yeah. Because if that crit's a direct, then it's a, uh, then that's it. That's the whole deck. That's the whole deck. <laughs> oh, maybe he forgot to shuffle. <laughs> the confusion. Yeah, uh, the deck is automatically shuffled when you when you put it down on the space for the damage checks. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was so slick. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's of all the crits you could have gotten. That's uh, that's. Hull bridge, is it? Wait. No. He moved, he moved the, uh... Did he forget his, about his own hull upgrade? Yeah. Let's see. We would, jump. You, would you... Would you mind telling them? <laughs> yeah, I'll jump over to the player's channel. We've got three hits. Mm. And three evades from soon to. Second range three shot here. Second shot. Hey Simon. Yeah. So uh, Jendon is gone uh, because even though he rolled an evade, uh, the Black Sun Ace crack shotted it, and ah. we missed. 
So that was his seventh. This is a uh, seventh. The second shot into Sunto was also evaded. There's a new um, hunting season here. Did Sienna? It looks like Sienna didn't take her disciplined target lock. Nope. There's a lot of triggers to remember. Yeah, I mean, when you get a when you get a fully loaded three ship list, then yeah, that's a uh, it's always tricky. Right, what's your what's your policy on should I, should I jump back in and remind them of that too or no, does that, does that fall under? A, it's not a mandatory. Uh, it's it falls under missed opportunity, I guess. All right. <laughs> Because it says May, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a must. Oh, apparently we're getting snow now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's slowing down a little bit here, so it's probably our snow that's... <laughs> Just finally wafted all the way over. Oh boy. Yeah, we've got 34 minutes left. And uh, Torbjorn is in a uh, good lead now by 63 points. And 80 to 17. But we'll see what happens when we got interceptors double repositioning in on these lower initiative scum cartel ships. Yeah, though I feel like uh Suntier is gonna be fairly fairly predictable this turn at least. Mm -hmm. Unless he decides to turn away to the left and just bug out completely. Which, yeah, with only thirty minutes left on the clock, he's got to he's got to push some damage in now. Yeah. I, I would bet the Sienna's main target is going to be that red M three. Try to try to put that last point of damage on it. But if the chemo can catch her in its uh, dead to rights arc, that could be really nasty. Yeah. I don't think he would turn a he would do a hard turn in. No, the one the one red hard is or the the one hard is red. Yeah. On the Kimogila, so my bet is that he's just gonna bank in with that slightly. Let's see, I will update the rounds as well. It's interesting that we're halfway through the rounds, but far or about two thirds of the way, a little more than two thirds of the way through the, the time. Yep. Yeah, I don't really think there will be an issue in that many games uh, that you need to count the rounds, to be honest. Um, we know that games played on TTS is generally quicker games. Mm -hmm. and, uh, games played in real life. Yeah, you don't have to worry about fat fingers moving the, the pieces around and everything like that. Arguing perfect... over arcs and... <laughs> I miss it so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, 
Sienna just tries to go straight, she is going to get uh, bullseyed. I think at this point, if she does a, even a two straight, she's going to bump. Yep. Ooh, nice. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, Was well flown. Look at that. Yeah. Shot from uh, Kimajila, though. Yeah, I think she's going to have to. And, uh, and she can't boost or barrel roll out of that. Nope. Turning in with that turning that with that N3 blocks the boost too. I don't know if he predicted that or if that's just a a really good block, unintentional block by Torbjorn. Oh, that's uh full sign for you. I don't think soon Tier is going to stay there. He's 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 definitely going to boost. Could also barrel roll. Out if he barrel rolls uh, out, I think that'll fit to the back. Ooh, they're still in the full side. Yeah, but then he's going to boost again. I bet. Yeah. yeah. But no tokens. I bet he was hoping to catch at least two, you know, two ships worth of aggro <laughs> instead of one. <laughs> so yeah, on the yellow M3A. If she blows it up in, in one shot, it'll get a stress or she'll get a stress. Yeah, it might be worth it there. Yes, choose, choose violence. <laughs> you're you're down on points. Ooh. Takes two. And that is half. Half points right there. And not having a not having a focus for defense against two two range one shots. This is interceptor life. Hoping, hoping for those <laughs> dice. Well, Philip, Philip hasn't had his dice with him. All right. So I guess this is a secondary weapon. Yeah, yeah. Yellow is using the target, uh, the the tractor beam. Yeah. Shouldn't he have? Uh, one damage and tractors uh no tractor beam just oh, does yeah. tractor tokens of course he's probably just gonna leave sienna right there so that the um so that the kimogila can fire against an interceptor with two agility instead of putting him on the rock. Yeah. Then again, there's a 50-50 chance that he will <laughs> take damage. And when you only... Yeah, that, that... I mean, you still get the... You still get the shot from... Yeah, now, now that I'm looking at it, I wonder if if putting you know, if putting the interceptor on the rock would have been better because then she would have had to fly over it next turn. Yep. Too. But. It's it's hard to say no to a, a range one shot with full mods. Here we go, hitting a crit. Oh yeah, that's a reroll. <laughs> that's a dead Sienna. Yeah, it is. And 
already looks uh, tough for uh, soon to you here. Who hasn't? Yes. He hasn't fired yet. No. That's rough. Let's see. Three on four. Oof. And three. Three right there with no tokens. Oh, takes one. Eight. And loses that self advice. Mm hmm. Now let's see what this crit is. Oh no. Fuel, Fuel leak. leak. This yeah, this is one of the times where that's the worst crit to get. Because now yeah. if he gets any if he gets any crit, he's gone. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a tall order yeah, so it, to your solo. Marksmanship might have been a great <laughs> upgrade in this list now. Yeah, I mean, when those uh, when those M3As turn around, they uh, if they can attack with their primary in the bullseye, although catching Suntir in a bullseye is not super easy to do. No. And just like with Jendon, with those, there's uh, still two crack shots on the board. You have to really watch out for that. Indeed. I find that this is the problem that I always have when I fly Sintir, is that he's he's so he's so dodgy and flanky that it's a uh, you know he can he can go through a game without firing a shot, but just like the threat of him. <laughs> <laughs> can can cause people to to change their strategy. And now that he's the only one left, it changes the focus. Yeah, it's it, it's hard being a stealthy ship when you got what is it five arcs mm -hmm. <laughs> gunning for you. Yeah, and with, yeah, especially with Sienna that turn, he did a he did a great Philip did a great job of, you know, predicting where his opponent was going to be and getting out of a lot of trouble with with one reposition. But, yeah, I've uh, I've I've flown Cynthia and Sienna before, but I usually fly them alongside like a, you know two or three other ships so that they can uh they're not too reliant on the on the you know one other ship in the list yeah we got the turbulence turn here mm -hmm. although we don't have any uh yeah we don't have any yeah jendon is gone so the the road is clear <laughs> Right, here we go. Oh, that's a close call. Kimaji is turning. Yeah, though I think uh I don't think he would have even minded too much ending up on the rock. He's so far ahead in terms of HP and he probably wasn't gonna get a shot on Sun this turn anyway, so not being able to fire is better than having to spend a bunch of turns turning around. Yeah. And not taking stress. When you've got five ships on the board, like you can usually afford to to have one of them on the rock if you're if you're that far ahead. Here we go. Chasing. Let's see. Ooh. 
Yeah, he's definitely got. Yeah. He's got. He's got to move. He's in that. He's in that. Uh, Kirax's bullseye, and that's the one that still has its uh, crack shot left. Yeah. Question is, will the will he try to boost to the right? Because I don't think that'll fit. No. Straight will. Strength is alright. But tough position. Yeah, especially since we're playing with the uh, the updated rules for the gas clouds. So yeah. getting behind that gas cloud doesn't give you the uh, the old auto thrusters benefit. It is still an obstacle, so. So he's only going to be taking a range one four die target lock attack. Um, you think it's range one? Yeah. It's going to be close, Maybe. but I think I, I think I think it is. Very close. Ah uh, no, chat says it's two. <laughs> All right. It's my trained you know eye. <laughs> You know what? I, I'm I'm fine with that. Phil <laughs> Philip could use a break. Let's see, that's hit the crit, spans the target lock. Yeah. Ooh. If that crit goes through, that's that's it. And it does. No, mm. no. Oh yeah, it's, it's He's got the evade token. Oof. Ooh boy. I, I I gotta say I was unsure about that evade. If the <laughs> you know whether whether taking a focus would be better there, but that was the <laughs> that was the right choice right then. Since your lives another day, another in, another day, another round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because now that the Kirax spent its target lock. I think a one hard or a two hard would put him on the gas cloud so he won't get in action. I'm pretty sure pretty sure they don't have a three hard. Yeah, they only have a three bank. So I think Sun Tears probably escaped him for this for this turn. At least, you know, not with a mod. It'd be interesting to see if uh if Torbjorn just does the turn maneuver, ignore doesn't bother with the action just to keep that uh that, uh, that bullseye arc yeah. on Sun as a threat. Yeah, I guess we see all all of the other ships uh, turning turning up here against Sun I wonder if Yellow is gonna turn. If the Yellow M three A is gonna turn away. I mean, he's he's got plenty of points, but. You know, that, that ship only has two hull left, so that's a, a candidate for, for Centaur to try to the initiative kill. Yeah. True. But again, uh, uh, Torbjorn has so many ships that, you know, even losing one at this point would be yeah. probably worth it if it means that he gets more shots on uh, on Centaur. He could use that... Uh... Skick as a uh, as a lure, basically. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, both of the skicks are hanging on, but if either one of them survives to fire their their uh, their secondary, you know, Suntir with with a tractor token is not a happy Suntir. Suntir with every all, every one of his opponents with the target lock on him is not a happy Suntir. So. Yeah, at this point, Torbjorn is in the lead by 99 points. Yeah, I, 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 I hate to say it because I loved his list, or I love his list, but I, I don't, I don't see a real path to victory right here in the amount of time that he's got left. He, he just needs a good dice. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good dice.
Sí, dance a set. Yep. On the route again. Yep. and keeps it. Not that it matters. Taking the safe path here and taking the target lock. Focus on yellow. Yep, he's bringing the whole gang. Yeah. Creating some space for key and the Carthel Executioner here as well. Which bumps? Not enough. Not enough space. Those medium bases are big. Now, let's see. All right. All right. There we go. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have a lot of choices. So he's not gonna get um, he's not gonna get thread tracer this turn because he's out of red's arc. Unless oh this could be nasty if yellow tractors him to the right, <laughs> then he could get thread tracered. And in bullseye of green and. Uh... Oh that <laughs> that would be so mean. <laughs> Let's see if yellow survives. Yeah, because I think if Suntir barrel rolls to the left right now, he won't have yellow in his bullseye for his uh, for his pilot ability. Probably not. And he definitely doesn't want to barrel roll to the right, because even though he'd have bullseye, so would those. There would be those two nasty bullseyes. That's good. He slipped. Uh, he slipped out of the greens arc with that boost. So, good boost there. Yep. Takes the evade. So now he's only going to be taking two shots. And gets a range one, but with no mods. So, this is flying interceptors, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hit my crit. Will it be enough? This is the one that has two hull left. Yeah. So. Spends that focus for survival. Yeah. I mean, if he if he took a crit, as long as it wasn't a direct hit, he'd still be alive. But you know, do you really want to take the risk that you, that's not a direct? And he's in the bullseye, so marksmanship might come into play. Ooh. Oh, he's he's using the tractor beam. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he shouldn't have. <laughs> Oof. All right, Sintir. Three or no, uh -oh. two of eight. Oh, not enough. So he's gonna get tractored. I don't know it's gonna, if he can be. It's going to tractor in backwards, and so it's going to be two range one shots. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that might he might still be out of greens. No, no. Uh, it looks like it's, it looks like he's in by a hair. Oh, this is not good for the swim tier. <laughs> Now he's got bullseye. <laughs> but yeah. Too late, unfortunately. And with only two agility, this is a. Uh... This looks like the end. They're moving their fingers over the tractor tokens. I wonder if the discussion is about whether or not each tractor token removes one agility or not, because that's that's been a, a confusing rule in the past. 
No, it's uh, it's considered a tractor chip or not a tractor chip, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As long as you have any tractor token. Oh, he's using the the new rule where if you get tractored, you can take a stress to rotate, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or no, he just had a stress. Yeah. Because he boosted and evaded. Oh. That's a dead soon, too. Yes, it is. Mm. Yeah, with only, with only two... Nice. There we go. Well, congratulations, Torbjorn. Let's see. Let's jump over and see what the players got to say. All right. See you there. See you there. Of this one, mm. and then probably have Bullseye on the yellow guy. Yeah. And probably would have had a focus and would have been probably better off. Uh, I was wondering uh, if you might have done a two turn. Yeah. And then, or if you, if you did what you did here, if you barrel rolled and then boosted here, you could probably have had him in in your Yeah, probably. Yeah. But then you will still maybe take shots from these two guys. Um, but yeah, that, that, I think I think the shots mm. from at least one of these two was inevitable. Mm. Um, whatever I did, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, congratulations, Torbjorn, and well played, Philip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it well played, but it's fine. <laughs> we had uh, we 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 had a lot of thoughts here about uh, whether those uh, marksmanship on the skicks will be be the winning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, that that droid combo is brutal. I have to say, I I, I didn't this I, I, when when I read the card, I was like, yeah, he will just maybe take my stress, and I have completely mm, forgot about that he has a tractor beam. And then when he was like, I'm shooting my tractor, I was like, oh, oh yeah. no, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was like, yeah, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> um, yeah. And, our, yeah, our four B eleven got a lot better in two point oh. Yeah. Because now you can. Sp it used to be just be that you spend your target lock to to make your opponent reroll his defense dice. But now, yeah. any red or or, or orange token, so mm. stress, deplete, jam, anything, anything works. Yeah. Including your target lock because the target lock is a red token. Yeah. yeah. And uh, attractive token if I get more than one track to hit. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and um, I was, I was, I'm still, I'm still now uh, in in mind of, of of first order because I'm flying it most now, mm -hmm. and uh, and I and li I like me so many triggers. Yeah. <laughs> during during this game, I was like, no, I forgot my Vader. No, I <laughs> forgot this. No, I forgot that. Um, which was not good for my reputation. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's late in the day. It happens. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were during during the during the game. We saw we we definitely noticed the one missed Vader trigger, and we weren't sure if you were if you were if that was a miss or if you were specifically keeping the force to use on offense or defense. Uh, um, I think I think I was out of range too of the ship that I could have Vader. Oh yeah, so. yeah, that's right. Yeah. That that was basically me eyeballing it. Am I range too? Maybe <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably not. So let's keep it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the one trigger that I definitely noticed that you missed and uh Yeah, disciplined, right? Yep, yep, disciplined. Yeah. It was like I, I moved I moved Jandon out of the board and I was like and I'm setting dials and I'm like target lock. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had one, but yeah. It happens. Um but it was a nice game. I, I, I really enjoyed but it was like just try and keep away from all of those arcs. Yeah. And it's and it's and it's hard because not hard, but I would say it's it's challenging when you have these glass cannon aces yeah. um, to it's... to keep them away, especially if you have five ships yeah. uh, on the other side of the board. And basically, I, then you need to engage mm. in any way to 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 
try to get some damage. So I got some points on the board. I'm happy. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, it was also I, I must say that I was I was not unhappy with my uh, damage output against Yenden. Because yeah, that that was that, that great, I could yeah. take him down in two turns, and with that last shot, it was really important because otherwise he would be jamming up the whole whole area. Yep. But uh, yep. I managed it, and then everything uh, got easier. Yeah. yeah, I was I was thinking for that one turn when I uh, just moved him one straight, and you just went all around him. Mm. Uh, for that and that, for that turn, I ended up being first player, mm. and uh, I was thinking when setting the dial like. If I should uh, dial a two straight, yeah. so if I'm first, I probably block you at mm. least one or two ships, and probably save Jenton. Yeah. I was also thinking about Jerjerod boosting and then doing a one straight again. Yeah. Um, but I, I was actually like, most, I was I was actually concerned about that boost a bit. Yeah, because. and I was and I was like, should I do that or should I don't do that? What if I'm not first? Then I need to. Um, then I need to figure out what to do, and uh, then um, I was just like, yeah, dial in four straight and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's like, let's let's uh, let's see what happens, and then uh, we rolled the dice, and I was first player. Then I was like, nah, that, that was not that was not that was not nice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a fun game, yeah, and that's what matters. Yeah, yeah, we had a lot of fun playing, so. Uh... Good, uh, good uh, talking and uh, and uh, camaraderie, camaraderie in the game. So that's really yeah, that's, that's always great. what's the most important thing. Uh, great definitely. <laughs> well, uh, uh, no, sorry. I was just going to ask a, a question on Torbjorn really quick. Um, when you when you hard turned your uh, your M three A right here and blocked the boost from Sienna, were you were you predicting that move or was that just a, a happy accident? When a one turned it, uh, the the yellow one. Yeah. 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 yeah it, it was it was because I knew that Sunsia was in sort of a position where he could really escape. Uh, so I just thought that okay, I'll, I'll I'll put some pressure on Sienna to try and see if I can uh, just get a lot of shots on her, maybe block her or just be pointing the general direction. And and by by moving him there, I I, I could sort of track her in the general area uh, where yeah, she could I mean, be unless she she chose to sort of dive down behind this rock but then she was also out of the sort of the the game for a few turns so so that's basically why i chose to to hard turn it in again to to sort of help the other guys out and uh, just have the blue one make a really hard aggressive move down towards the rock because that would block uh, perhaps soon here from if he decide i uh, I was pro pro pretty sure he couldn't uh, bank in, and he couldn't turn behind this rock. So maybe he would have to sort of go straight, then barrel, and then boost, and then he or boost, and then but then he couldn't really get around the rock uh, without me having a shot on him. Yeah. So, so the blue one was just to keep pressure on Sunzia. Yeah, he definitely did his job. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aaron, for uh, joining me in the virtual commentary booth. Thank you, mm -hmm. uh, Philip and Torbjorn, for playing. Next yeah. week, we will be back with... Uh, actually, it's a revenge game between uh, Kilbrand <laughs> Soldier and um, uh, Juan from last week. Uh, so we'll see how that's uh, turning out uh, next Wednesday. And oh, are they, are they playing the exact same lists, or are they just playing each other again? Playing new lists. New ah, lists. fun. Oh, they're allowed to play new lists. If they like to play <laughs> the same list, then, then uh, they're allowed to do, to do that as well. Well, I'm going to cut it out early tonight, so thank you very much, and see you next week. Yeah. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.